no one has done anything to stop the war russia tried to stop the war multiple times you can't say no one's done anything to stop the war russia had a peace deal with with ukraine and turkey the ukrainian government officials that were involved in that peace deal came out and said it they have put their signatures on multiple pages of the peace deal and then the U united states and uk sent boris johnson over to pull out of the peace deal russia has been pushing for peace in ukraine since 2014 you cannot say no one has wanted peace no one to no one wanted to stop the war russia has been wanting to stop the war from starting since 2014 end of story if you know the history if you looked into it if you followed it from the beginning you know this russia bent over backwards try to convince the western world to stop doing what they were doing in ukraine stop it stop it stop it and they wouldn't stop stuka happy to see world map update back indeed yeah minsk one and two and the european powers came out and said oh we're just uh we're lying to putin we, we never intended to sign min like uh, fulfill minsk one and two peace deals that they signed right they were just buying time to arm ukraine so they could start the war like that's literally what came out of merkel Mer merkel's mouth uh, france who was the leader of france at that time uh the uk leader said that they said this and then we have someone coming saying no one wanted to stop the war yeah russia wanted to stop the war like holy camoles man you cannot affirm so easily that the russian had no not broken the mint street no they didn't they the european powers even came out and said we broke it we never intended for it to happen right like don't don't believe your lying eyes that's what that's what they said right elegar russia let's talk peace boris the clown is responsible for every death since to february 2022 yeah boris johnson is man what a vile creature that clown ass right miss balloon has can ukraine even run a proper election right now i'm not sure how much of their population is displaced i'm not sure how elections happen in war zones seems too challenging to do uh, but also terrible not to have an election process yeah miss balloon has scott ritter's talked about this in iraq one of the first things they did to legitimize the occupation united states occupation of iraq is to run elections it was a sham it was scammy but they still ran the elections in iraq and al-qaeda and extremists they were blown up polling stations but people still went out and voted right they had elections in a war zone in iraq ukraine couldn't even hold elections in the western part of ukraine right ukraine is a dictatorship right now right let me see my the hair was a dead giveaway so i trust neither russia nor ukraine the situation in the front since 2014 is diffused we don't know the truth we know a fair bit of truth right uh what's his name uh does the u.n ambassador uh, uh f the e f the eu uh, uh the clown oh what's her name uh, i forget her name we know what the united states did they installed the puppet regime there we have the phone records we have the we have the we have we have the bills like we know exactly what they did cosmic nor chicho i want to thank you for being so brave to share uh share truthful information about politics i'm not very well informed uh about politics and the western news do not show the real picture you uh you are my go-to for accurate news uh thanks guys uh cosmic norris for uh the kind words but double check everything i say uh, really don't take anything i say as fact i'm sharing and you know i get my dates wrong i get my names wrong uh i mean paperclip and mockingbird i flip those guys wrong. so check everything i say 
the main point I'm trying to get across is Western corporate media and politicians lie, 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 lie. And they have lied us into multiple wars, right? Plutonic tourists, thank you very much. Look into Victoria F the EU Newland phone calls of who they were going to put into in in place in Ukraine to govern Ukraine once the coup was done. Pass the cookies, uh, Ma, um, McCain, right? Pass the cookies, McCain, and Newland while they were handing out money. Like seriously, what the, it, fucking the truth, the truth is out there. Like. Uh, there, there, there's stuff that happened that you cannot deny, right? At the police, salutations. Hi, what's your opinion? Is the best scenario for the end of the Russia-Ukraine war? Full surrender by Ukraine. Ukraine, the government begs for mercy. They arrest Zelensky and the other top leaders. Hold them. Ask Russia what they want done with them full unconditional surrender and russia will show mercy there is no other way now there is no other way russia put out a peace deal multiple times and the west is denying it ukraine leadership they cut their ties with nato they admit that they were used as cannon fodder by nato nations they apologize to the citizens of ukraine for being duped into starting a war with Russia that they were never going to win. They apologized to Russia for believing in the lies that NATO nations were telling them. They cut all ties with Western Europe for now. They can reinstart it later. They cut all ties with Western Europe. They get on their knees, unconditional surrender, beg for mercy, and Russia might allow them to keep Odessa. Okay, if I was Russia, I would not allow Ukraine to keep Odessa. As for, I'm, I've said this from two years ago, a year and a half ago, that I said Russia will take Odessa. Okay, the only way Ukraine keeps Odessa now is if they accept an unconditional surrender and beg for mercy and say, please let us have access to the Black Sea. Okay we will never do anything like this again and we will never allow a coup like this to happen again and we'll never allow ourselves to be used by western powers to wage war against you again